Okay, one more look for tonight, um, which is about Foundry, basically an alien. Again, that's what happened today. <laughs> Need to make the most of my holidays. And um, I wanted to briefly show off what you can actually do to, to customize the look um, of the system. Because it's got a, a peculiar look because it's trying to be um, like the Nostromo OS, whatever you want to call it, the original uh, design. Not everybody quite loves it, but there are a couple of modifications you can make, be it fonts, be it colors, or actually there are a couple of UI themes as well. So hopefully I'll be able to get this back on screen in a minute. And then I can talk you through um, that. I don't think this is going to be very long at all. So let me push this out of the way. And get back into my alien demo. And we need to make this slightly slimmer so you can see it all. And there you go. So this is pretty much the, the default of what it looks like when you first install it. And as I was uh, doing in my last... Um, video this is the, the system with the starter set um included nothing else but it's it's good enough to show you off show off um what it looks like so this is the character sheet yeah green and black it takes me back to when i had my first computer which was black and green on later on amber and green uh, amber and black so that was quite fun um some people find this easy to read some find it a bit of an eye, eye strain so the first thing you can always do is to just go into system settings over here, configure alien RPG settings. It's the same as going through here, but this is already a palette. So that gives you a clue, colors, etc. So you can, for example, say, I want a different style of font. I want Dara, for example. And I don't want this sort of greenish thing. How about a lighter? lighter green like such you know how to use color pickers etc i'm sure so uh don't need to go through that hopefully if i do tell me in the chat um same for the general fonts you can change them here but i won't for now so submit we should now see different font and slightly different color so reloads i go back into my character sheet you can see this is now a different font and different color. Now you can't, as far as I know, without hacking into the CSS, change the background to white or another color. But for me, this is already easier to read. Yeah. So colors and fonts can be changed there. Now let's have a look at the journal. If I go to a wordier one, remember how to use this module? Yeah. So we've got this. Um, setting i haven't actually tried this one before so what if i change the general settings font or color i should say and i want to make it whiter maybe with a tinge of red pink almost submit see go back to the same font now to the same how to use you now have a different color so that's relatively easy even i can change those um might make it a bit more readable for you. You might prefer a different font. Has this changed the font? I think it might have not quite sure. So that's the easy one. Um, there are some modules. Let me show you the modules I've installed here right now. Um, one of them is called Alien RPG CRT UI without Ray Tube. So reload that and let's see what happens. So I'm basically using a theme setting now. So this looks the same, almost. You'll see that the icons up here are slightly different, I think. They look different anyway. And when I go into character sheet, you'll see that everything looks like it's got this mesh, the old um, sort of pixelated CRT look over it. Yeah, so the, the whole thing has changed a bit. Some of the formatting is not quite right, but might have to do with me scaling it up for you guys. Let me send it to 100% UI size. No, it's not. So there is a little bit of formatting that has gone um, wrong here, probably in one of the recent updates. But other than that, perfectly usable. Yeah. A lot of people prefer this. Why not? Sure. Your mileage may vary, as they say. So... One click, essentially, you download the module, you're then enabled under Manage Modules, 
and you've got a new look. Uh, another one is called the Wayland Yutani mod. Wayland Alien UI thing. So, save module settings. And you right away you see already that the navigation uh, buttons look different. The macro bar looks different. The fonts look different. We have this. I'm not quite sure whether you can see it. Um, the pixelated look or mesh look. And then we've got a scan line running across the screen every now and then. There it goes, if you can see it. <laughs> All of those, again, you can change them here under settings. You go to module settings, you find the Wayland. You can get rid of the flickering, the screen door effect. That's what they call this mesh look and the scanline animation. Um, you can keep them on. So you've got three different ways of modifying it. As far as I've experimented, these UI themes override anything you put into the system settings. So don't, um, I can try again, but I wouldn't expect to be able to um, change the font here. So Andara, let's go for something we definitely recognize. What, no Comic Sans? Go for this. And I don't expect it to survive the, the other mod. No, so it's all modified here. So, three ways of um, getting it to look just so for your alien game. Um, I don't think then a question that comes up um, sometimes is whether there's a, a replica of the paper um, character sheet, yeah, you, which is quite designy if you like. I don't think that's available. Um, if, if you know different, yeah, you know what to do. Comment, let me know, I can spread the news, I can. Uh, comment on here and other people can find it and if it comes up on discord then i'll know what to answer properly so hope that was useful short as it was and leave me a subscribe or a like or something if you want to see a bit more of this sort of content see you next time